Well, hey there folks, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted any videos for a couple of weeks, my apologies. Sometimes life can be a little busy. So I'm just heading along a very broken road here in Anfu up to Taodian in District 2. And I wanted to bring you some news in Vietnam, folks. So there's a couple of issues at the moment. And one of the ones is the prices or oh, sorry, the lack of availability of, of gasoline, of petrol. So there's been a bit of a run on the gas stations in the last few days. Not that you'd know it from the traffic. <laughs> but it, it's getting increasingly more difficult to buy petrol or gas in Ho Chi Minh City, uh, Binh Yung, Dong Nai, so in the southern provinces. I'm going to put some news articles uh, into the video now so you can see get a bit more detail, a bit more information around what's going on. So like a lot of businesses in Vietnam, they're state controlled and the government here mandates the high and the low price for, for gasoline, for petrol. So I did a video a few weeks ago, months ago now actually, talking about increasing prices here in uh, Vietnam. And one of the prices that was going up very, very quickly was, was petrol. I'm going to use the word petrol now because I'm British. And that came down again quite quickly, which was good for the public here. But the issue is the government sells the gas at a mandated price. The transportation companies then charge a lot of money to transport that gas to the end retailer. So the end, re so the end retailer is losing money on selling petrol at their forecourts. So what I can gather from the news articles and the local news here is the retailers are losing money, actually like, you know, between five and $10,000 a month on their gasoline, on their petrol sales. And now they're rationing what they're selling to people. So typically if you've got a, if you turn up with a motorbike, they're going to sell you 30,000, 30,000 Vietnamese dong worth of gas, which is about a dollar, dollar 25. If I just pull over here, guys, you can see the queue at the gas station. So this is a lunchtime when most people are taking a nap and you wouldn't really see this at all. You've got about 12 or so cars queuing onto the road and a big queue of motorbikes there coming out. So this isn't good. But I think it's just reactionary. So it's just people reacting to the news. I'm sure the government here will quickly start to distri distribute gas back out to the stations but unfortunately in this in cities like Saigon where you've got a huge amount of people popula population density is so high when they read news like this they panic and they go and drain out the forecourts but yeah you can only buy 30,000 so about a dollar 25 dollar 30 worth of gas if you've got a motorbike and 300,000 PND worth of petrol if you've got a car or truck which isn't, isn't great if you're commuting every day. I mean, luckily for me, <laughs> selfishly, I've got my electric bike, so I don't actually use any gas. But of course, indirectly, it's going to affect prices of goods, food, everything else, which is already going up quite a bit. It hasn't come back down. The second point I wanted to share with you folks is the dollar to dong exchange rate. So I hate it when they drive. The wrong way so you've obviously most currencies especially the British pound and the Japanese yen down about 20% against the dollar this year really really crazy really really good if you want to take a holiday now in the UK or Japan if you're coming from US or you're earning US dollars so State Bank of Vietnam sets the exchange rate for US dollar to Vietnamese dong and I'll Top of my head is about 23, 400. But that's quite low. The actual bank rate is about 23, 8 or 23, 900. So it's, it's, getting, it's getting towards 24,000 dong to a dollar. And it for sure will hit that in the next month or two, I, I predict. So if I'm buying VND from my bank, International Bank, I can get it for about 
23, 850 for each dollar, which is great for me. Get a little bit more dong for my, my money. But of course, it's not so good for local people earning VND. And of course, it's skewing imports and exports as well. So it's actually a pretty good time to, to come to Vietnam for a visit because your money goes a little bit further. However, if you're going to be driving a car or motorbike here, it may become a little bit more difficult. <laughs> Okay, folks, just a quick update for you. A bit of information on the ground here in Vietnam, Saigon. Take it easy. Catch you later.